this is the Canon EOS M, Canon's highly anticipated answer to the competitive, mirrorless, interchangeable lens camera scene. The EOS M, like the popular Sony Alpha NEX series and Samsung's NX series, uses an APS-C sensor, the same sensor found on most entry-level DSLRs, allowing true DSLR quality photos thanks to its relative large sensor size. For the mount, Canon created a new mount known as the M mount that is slightly smaller than the EF mount but with the use of an adapter sold separately can also handle Canon's massive range of EF lenses. The trickiest part for a mirrorless camera line is usually the software and Canon has opted to use the exact same interface found on the full EOS 650D DSLR camera. Everything from the menu layout down to the optical viewfinder user interface comes from the 650D, something we couldn't really understand since the EOS M doesn't actually have a viewfinder. Even though the user interface is identical, the physical controls to navigate it are not. The EOS M comes with the same buttons as the 650D, but lacks a full mode dial and a secondary wheel, opting instead for a very simple mode dial. Even though the EOS M comes with the same capacitive touchscreen as, once again, the 650D, it isn't very friendly when it comes to changing settings. That's it, we did find the touch shutter and pinch to zoom ability very useful. As for hardware, we were happy to find that the EOS M supports sensor cleaning but were disappointed by the lack of a flip screen, something we've gotten very used to in competing cameras. We also found the grip on the camera to be small, making it hard to have a firm hold. Thankfully, the EOS M comes with a standard hot shoe, and even comes packaged with a flash when you buy one of the kits. The other cool feature is the microphone jack, allowing you to use external microphones when filming video. It does come with a stereo mic of course, but it's strangely positioned on the left of the camera. Finally, we really loved the ingenious camera strap lock that made removing and putting on the strap a breeze. Canon still has some ways to go in making the EOS M a fun camera to use. Where they really shine though is in its lenses and photo quality. The kit we received came with a typical 18-55mm zoom lens and a 22mm prime lens with an f2 aperture that creates impressive bokeh effects in photos. Of course, the best part is the fact that you can use Canon's entire EF lens lineup with the EOS M. That is something that is very hard to beat. Canon still has some ways to go with the physical design and the software of the camera, but there's no denying that on the inside, it's everything that you would expect from Canon, making this a great secondary camera if you already own a Canon DSLR.